So today we're going to show you uh, how to get from Manila to uh, Cebu without flying. The first part we've already done in a previous video, which was Manila to Cataclan or Boracay. Uh, we can find that video here, somewhere around there. Um, basically, we went from Manila to Batangas by bus, which is like two and a half hours on the bus. Um, that cost us 470 peso, which is about six pounds 90. You can get that cheaper if you just go to the coach station. They run like every hour. You will save uh, like booking fees and stuff like that on uh, one to go Asia. So it would be a little bit cheaper for you. Uh, and then we got an 11 hour ferry, which cost us 32 pounds or two. 2,200 pesos from Batangas to Cataclan. Um, Don't let the 11 hour ferry put you off, it was actually so much fun. Yeah, it's great because we met a load of people uh, oh, like Phil karaoke, Filipinos. Everything. It's fun, it's fun. Got drunk and uh, got invited to uh, their houses and stuff like that, which you'll see in this video. So in this video, you're going to see us going from Cataclan to Cebu City. Um, so like Michael said, we started off in Cataclan and we got the bus to Iloilo. That took about five hours, cost 600 peso and that was about like £8.70. So from Iloilo to Mangus, there's a few options you can take. You can do what we did and we got a ferry, two hour ferry, a bus journey, a three hour ferry and another bus journey. But it was very, very long. But there is an option you can take from Elorillo de Mangas straight to Cebu City. It costs about £8, but it does take about 11 hours. And thinking about it, we would have saved a lot of time. Yeah, and just to clarify, uh, there's in Iloilo there's two ports. There's the Mangus port and Iloilo. Uh, so you have options. We went from the Mangus port to our next place, which was Bacalod because it was only uh, £1.80, which is like 130 pesos, uh, and it was the same time. Uh, but you can go from Iloilo to Bacolod, but it's like £8 for two hours, so it's much more expensive. However, we did have friends who were willing to drive us for free to Domango's port, um, which is like half an hour drive, so if you happen to pay for taxis, it probably wouldn't save you money, but for us it did. So once we arrived in Bacolod, uh, we decided to sleep over one night because it was late uh, and we then got uh, a bus, a ferry and a bus to Cebu City. You can break this up, you can go from Bacolod uh, to San Carlos City and then get a ferry across to Toledo City uh, and then you'd have to get another bus. So, so a very a uh, helpful lady at the Ceres coach station basically said you can pay like 650 pesos um, and just they will take you the whole way so the, you get on the coach it takes you to a, a different port which is further up the country to, from San Carlos you get on a, a ferry for like three hours and then once you get off the other side you drive for three hours then you're in Cebu City um, it's a lot easier so it just saves the hassle of like having to source your own buses and ferries and so on you just pay yeah. I think from the whole journey we were pretty tired so we were like yeah we'll just do the easiest option so the whole thing cost us about 58 pound 88 the price is in peso is here oh yeah true i didn't write that down <laughs> so um but yeah i think flying was 60 pound but that's not including luggage or seats we like to sit next to each other and you can actually go straight from Batangas all the way to Cebu City as well. But that takes like 40 hours. Yeah, so there's lots of different options if you don't want to fly. Um, if it was not Christmas, it probably would have been cheaper just to fly. Mm. So we're leaving the island today. Uh, it's like our second step in getting to Cebu. First we're going to Iloilo. Um, we're going to probably stay there for a night because we're seeing some friends that we made um, on the ferry to here. Uh, and the next day, it'll be another ferry, a bus, another ferry, and then we'll be in Cebu. Uh, but first, we've got to get off this island. So we're just getting some coffee and some food because it's a five hour bus journey on the other end. So the bus that we're taking to Iloilo is 600 pesos. And the boat that we took from the island to the mainland um, was 50 pesos. 
But they did a deal on the island where you could get the bus and the boat for 700 pesos. So it's 50 pesos cheaper per, per uh, sorry, more expensive per person. But for the hassle of everything else, the bargaining and so we're just like, fuck it, we'll just do that. It's, it's 100 pesos between us, so not really a problem. Finally, one hour and a half. So we've been driving for a couple hours now, so we just stopped quickly for some food. Um, so yeah, just a little side of the road service station, pretty standard. Well, hey, we, we made it. We arrived. Took about five hours. We overtook all the like Cer Ceres <laughs> buses, and they left like an hour to an hour and a half before us. We would have been here really, like half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago, but with the local buses or the lo more local minibuses, they sort of drive around, drop people off. So now we're just waiting for our friends to pick us up. So I guess you'll probably see us tomorrow. Or well, we might record the food we're having tonight. I will record the food we're having tonight. This is the aftermath. We almost got it. Taking this home. Ooh. So it's the next morning. Uh, we went out for dinner last night with our friends, which was really, really nice. <laughs> went to this great seafood restaurant. We tried like loads of different shrimp and fish, chicken, pork. As you saw from the video, it was like a feast. I mean. Loads of food, very well fed. Um, came back, had a drink. Before that, we went to one of um, so Greg, our friend, his sisters. Uh, no, sorry, his wife's sisters. <laughs> we'll have a like, get together party for one of their uh, for a birthday for a relative. So went there, we're introduced to loads of people. Um, they have eight sisters, so there's lots of people there, lots of kids. <clears throat> Again, very very welcoming. Had a chat with their their parents and so on. Today we're just going to chill out for a bit, we're going to get a boat around about 4 o'clock um, over to the next island. But uh, yeah, Greg yesterday was like, oh if you want mate, you can take my bike out tomorrow. I was thinking like moped or push bike, he's like, nah, just like my Yamaha, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, Greg, thank you, but I can't drive those sorts of bikes. <laughs> Even if I could, I don't think I'd risk it, so. It's uh, rice. Rice, e ebos. E-bus. Like e morning rice. It's like a uh, rice cake, it's like rice cake. Okay, just undo this. <laughs> so you dip it in the sugar? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of like rice pudding. It's got like... Rice pudding, yeah. You tried rice pudding? Mm. In English is a girl. Oh. Girl. We call it girl, girl. <laughs> so bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, yeah. bye, girl, girl. So it's like sticky rice with coconut and it's sweet. Yeah, with coconut. Mm. Version. It's a boy, boy. It's a white version. It's a girl, girl. Mmm. Brown. So for lunch we're having fasole. Is that like pork in there? It's a uh, pork. Or chicken? Pork in there. Uh, and beans, white beans. beans. Yeah, with carrots. That looks amazing. It smells even better. Oh, wow. You're cheating us. <laughs> Somehow we made it. We were racing. We really didn't think we were going to make it, but we made it in the end, so. So we arrived the other end, like, took basically two hours on the dock. Uh, make sure you have grab because um, the tuk-tuks didn't want to take us and the taxis, maybe it's because we have big bags, but the taxis don't have meters, so definitely use grab if you can, otherwise you just have to negotiate, try to negotiate. They didn't really want to talk to us, to be honest, I don't know if their English is not very good or, I don't know. So we've checked in, um, we're just going to sleep literally uh, and then wake up tomorrow, go get a bus to the next port and then we'll be in Cebu. 
We have slowed this down by like taking lots of stops. We've done that on intentionally. You could do it like non-stop if you wanted to from Manila, but that would be like uh, pretty intense. But we'll do a talk breakdown at the beginning probably of this video, so. So it's the next day. And again, another beautiful day. Uh, blue skies and sunshine. We need to get a bus over to uh, San Carlos City so we can get the ferry. Um, so we need to find out where bus terminal we go to. I think it's south. So we asked uh, a hotel. our hotel. They said it's north to bus terminal you want to go to, not south. So yeah, that was a good thing we asked. Yeah. So we were going to do it individually, like get a bus to San Carlos, then pay for a ferry across and then get another bus to Cebu. But the lady at the help desk basically said, you can get a bus from here that goes straight to Cebu City and the cost includes everything. So it's 650 pesos, which is less than a tenner to go from here to the port, onto the ferry, off the ferry and then drive to Cebu City. Whereas it would have been 340 each just to get to the ferry uh, to the ferry stop on this island. Then we have to pay for the ferry and for another bus. So it's going to either be the same price or slightly cheaper. So we're just going to do that. It makes it much easier. Uh, so yeah, if you want a smooth journey, then that's probably the best thing you can do. The first bus is actually showing something on their screens. Hey, right in front of me as well. Let's go. The film is in English. The film is in English and it's Jurassic Park. Just bought these pie things. 30 pesos, uh, 15 pesos each. <coughs> Don't know what they are. They're warm though. They have loads like the sweet stuff inside. It's nice actually. There's bits of coconut in there as well. Mmm. Finally arrived. Finally. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Dropped us at North Terminal. We're just going to get a taxi to our hotel and then relax because it's been a long couple of days. 